What's up guys? Today I'm going to be going through how to make a budget and why you would want to do that as a, a graduate student or as basically any college student in general. So uh, without any further ado, that was supposed to be the transition. So as a grad student, it's important to keep track of your money and make sure you know how much you have. Um, but you also have to pay attention to other things. You have, to, you have other responsibilities that you have to make sure that you maintain. So creating a budget kind of helps you keep an eye on your uh, income and your, and your outgoing funds without having to think too much about it. So one of the reasons that you would make a budget is just to make sure that you have uh, a good eye on what you're, what's happening with your money without having to think too much about it. Now you might wonder what, what, where do you start with making a budget and the first thing that you might want to do is, is get a good understanding of where or how much money you have so you want to check all your sources of income and write those down and then see what kind of um, uh, money you, you make and when because that's another important factor is when you get paid too because you might make a budget and all of a sudden you're out of money and you, you thought oh well, I was supposed to have this much and then you realize oh I made the budget and I get paid on the 15th and the 30th instead of you know other option, any other option. So once you have all your sources of income written down, you can start looking at them and then look into your monthly expenses, what you've paid, uh, paid for in the past. Uh, bank statements kind of give you a good idea of what kind of money you've been spending. Sometimes it's not always the best because they don't fill out all the categories as to what you were, what you spent it on, right? You might order something off Amazon and it'll just say Amazon order. Um, but at least it gives you an idea of what kind of things you were spending your money on in the past. Uh, that way you can get a better idea of what you might have to plan for in the future. Some of these things might just be, you know, obviously rent is an, a reoccurring uh, thing. Um, you might look at, oh, well, I went to the movies a couple times with some friends. You might look at, well, this is what I spent on groceries. So these are the kind of things that you want to look into when you're looking at making a budget. and also looking into see, seeing, oh, oh yeah, I forgot that I spent money on that, because that happens a lot too, is you think you have more money than you do because you simply just forgot that you bought, I don't know, a, a tire for your car or something. So that's um, an important thing to keep in mind is that you, you look at, you reevaluate what you have actually spent your money on. So that would be uh, the, step, the second step. And it might actually be important to create a list of these things so that you can refer back to them while you're making your budget. Uh, so once you have that list, you can actually break things down into a couple different categories, basically the fixed category and the variable category. Fixed uh, cate The fixed category of spending would be something like rent or you know your phone bill shouldn't change unless you're using all your data and then, uh, I don't know, whatever might get charged extra on your phone bill. But for the most part, you know, bills are usually pretty consistent and they're fixed. Um, the electric bill kind of does jump around, so that, that would be something that's variable. And what you're going to find is in the category of you know the variable category, that's where you're going to save all your money because if it's fixed, there's no changing that for the most part, um, unless you can maybe call your phone company and change what plan you're on. But for the most part, you're going to have the most control over your variable expenses. So um, those are good to note and see where you can kind of cut back because ideally that's what you're trying to do when you're making a budget is find a way to cut back on your expenses. So your fixed categories and your variable categories are going to have different things in them and within that you can kind of make subcategories like food, groceries, entertainment, all these things are an important part of making your budget and then once you have those you can list them out and you are better able to assign a value to how much you can spend monthly on those. And when you have that money, and, and when you have an idea of what that money is and where it's supposed to be going, you get a better idea of what you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to be spending it. So my last bit of advice for this, uh, for making a budget, is to just keep in mind that your life is always changing. There's always something that's going to 
be different. You're going to have different amount of income some months. You're going to have different expenses some months. And you're just going to keep an eye on it and, and change it as you go. Once you have everything changed up and everything's good to go, you, you're, you're feeling a little bit better. You don't have to keep as much of an eye on it, but at the same time, you have a better understanding of where your money is and with that you have you can start saving you can you know build towards something uh, to a savings account for something but um, yeah overall I think it's a pretty good idea to start doing especially as a uh, college student and if you're on your own for the first time keeping a budget is really important so keep that in mind while you're maybe if you're starting school if you're going into it um, maybe you've been in it a while but like you find that you're struggling with money try making a budget so it, it might help you so if you want an example of a, a, a college student's budget I, I guess I can maybe show you mine here all right so if you like the advice that I've given uh, feel free to share it, feel free to subscribe, like it, watch it 12 times, I don't care. Because, um, I mean, there's some really good information. You might have to go back and watch it again, right? Probably not. That's okay. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. So as a so as a grad student, it's important to make sure that you know where your money's at. So at I mean, like, not at all times. So making a budget kind of helps you, allow you to... Video is going to be about making your budget. Um